Welcome, everybody, to the Cisco Networking Crash Course, okay? This is a lab, or not a lab, a course, okay, that's going to show you CCNA topics. Yes, it will. But it's going to show you real-world application, okay? You rarely see me use a layer 3 switch. So this is why I designed this course this way, all right? Because in the real world, companies are, and again, I'm out there, so I know what's going on, and I have plenty of colleagues that are telling me, man, this is going, it's driving me insane. These people are not doing things properly, and they're creating loops and all sorts of things. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and create a, a course that's going to handle this. Because really, if you look at this, you're going to be doing the actual Cisco three-layer model, all right? Which is your core, distribution, and access. Your core will be your router. Your distribution will be your layer three switch will be routing. And then you have your access layer switches where we're actually going to create the VLANs down there. So this lab will touch upon VLANs, inter-VLANs, IP addressing, NAT, access list okay inter vlan but they're going to be uh we're going to be doing all these things at a different layer we're going to be doing a routing protocol okay and you're going to see it's going to be we're going to make use of this layer three quite a bit and this is why i decided to design this way now i wanted you to keep one thing in mind i said the cisco three layer model okay we know cisco, cisco has a collapsed architecture where they're taking these two, the core and distribution, together, right? But again, the whole point to this, all right, is for your network to be efficient. So what is this course geared to? It's geared to people to say, oh, wow, there's topics from the CCNA here, so you'll learn, but now you're doing it in a different location. Not all is going to be on the router, okay? It's going to be in this layer 3 switch. And for real-world applications, so you can walk into an interview and they'll ask you, well, what do you think about this? And whatever questions, hopefully it'll be IT questions, not, well, you know, do you like your life or something like that, okay? It's like, no, I do know this. This is the reason why I'm putting layer three switches on here. So we can leave the core router to do what it's supposed to do, which is to route information quickly, all right? That's why we're going to be doing inter-VLANs down here, all right? So this course... It's going to give you a lot of knowledge because you see this is pretty much the same, all right? A lot of knowledge on real world applications, real world, while still going over CCNA topics. Not every last little thing on the CCNA, but things that will main topics, the meat and potatoes of it, okay? Because this is what everybody's doing. And I'm going to guide you, I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through. IP addressing, yeah, here are your IPs, okay, I'm going to show you IPs, whatever. But again, IPs, it needs to be something up here, okay? You need to know. You need to know. So this course is going to cover all that stuff. It's going to cover security, like access list. It's going to cover switch port security. Will I do it on every single switch? No. Will you do it on every single switch? Yes. Because you need to practice all this stuff. And you can take the same lab that I have here and you can keep adding and adding and adding to it with those same CCNA topics, all right? That's all you gotta do because when I design this, because people tell me, hey, Lance, can you do a lab from scratch? Can, can Listen, I came up with this lab because my buddy's telling me, listen, this is what's going on. I'm like, oh, okay. So let me go ahead and put some routers up there, some layer three switches, some layer two switches. And then we'll do, you know, a server and a computer and stuff like that because we'll be testing access lists, right, with, you know, extended access lists with ports and stuff like that. That's the whole point to this lab, all right? So, and remember, remember, this is a video, okay? This is a video. So what do you do? Pause. I'm going to upload this lab, but it's complete, no passwords. Never fear, no passwords whatsoever, okay? But see, when you get it, look at it, okay? And then as you watch the video, pause it, 
do it over again, stop, configure, rewind, what the hell did last say, keep going, and like that. That's, you have the capability, so do it, okay? So you can fully understand, and if you still don't understand, then yes, by all means, send me an email, uh, write a message, I am answering questions, again, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm answering, but you can always shoot me a message or send me an email, all right? But you need to go ahead and do the work. You need to get in there. You need to configure this lab. You need to see the IP addressing. You need to do it, all right? If you don't practice it, it's not going to happen. You can, I don't know, maybe you can read the Cisco Press book from cover to cover, and then that's it. You're done. You're good to go, and you can take your test. But what happens when you get to the real world? They don't care that you know how to answer a question as far as A, B, C, D, E, okay? They're going to put you in a scenario-based questions. And as far as I know, in the CCNA, there is no layer 3 switches or layer 3 switch questions, okay? So that's why I'm throwing this out there. Real-world applications. I am here to help you, okay? So whatever you really don't understand and you've gone over, man, shoot me that question. Shoot me that question. Because I am here for you. I really, really am. All right? Look at me. I even shaved my head and everything. Okay? I'm back. I'm looking good as ever. All right? So with that said, this is the lab we're going to be working on. Okay? And uh, we'll do it together step by step. I'll see you in the next.